It's sort of love at first sight, but with the doggy. Sometimes when I, I was little, I always used to sort of hug her. So I was sort of all over her. I don't think she really liked that. She just sort of growled when it was getting a little too much. Then my mom would tell me to back away. And we we're both just puppies. We are both really little. So we both had to sort of learn how to, you know, get along and learn manners and stuff. <laughs> I think she likes me more now because when I was little, I was always on her and stuff like that. I think she likes me more now. Here, bring it closer. Bring it closer. <laughs> bring it closer. When my friend comes over, she's she really loves Mira a lot, and I, I really like that. But sometimes when she, when she's just like petting Mira only, and I'm like, Amy, let's go and play, and I'm really asking her, and, but she's really attached to Mira and stuff, and I sort of feel in a way jealous, like my dog, <laughs> Amy, it's our play date. <laughs> we can have a dog date later. <laughs> I hate movies with any animals in it because in a movie about an animal, the animal usually gets hurt and I don't really like seeing that because I'm like, what if that happens to my dog and I get really scared and sad and I cry usually when I see a dog get hurt or any animal getting hurt. I always tell my mom, no, I don't want to watch that movie. <laughs> As a do it has an animal on the cover. No thanks but some people enjoy sort of like drama and stuff that happens bad or sad stuff, but I really don't like that. I don't like it when any animals get hurt. I'm a vegetarian, so I just actually became a vegetarian during the summer. I think that it's just sort of gross, not to offend you if you eat meat or anything, but I think it's sort of gross to eat other living creatures, like, um, uh, if, they, if they're alive and they have something to live for, they have a family, and I love animals and I don't really want to eat them. It makes it a little bit more hard for my mom because she sometimes has to make two meals, but now my family's more eating vegetarian. I think that's good. I care a lot about her. I'm usually pet her the most because I'm usually with her the most. You sort of don't really need talking. You sort of have a feeling that they understand you. and Yeah, and I think that Mira's a really good listener. I think it feels like she sort of talks to me with her eyes or something like that. I don't think I could ever have a dog that I have as much connection as I do with Mira. I think that it's in a way is getting stronger because we're growing older together. And um, we're sort of bonding more and having more of a connection and getting to know each other better and sort of, sort of like in a relationship but not in that lovey-dovey way. I think that I've learned how to sort of love in a way because in a way to like give them room and love them and give them as much as you can give and Really love them for who they are. Don't change them. Don't try to change them. I think Mira taught me a lot about that because, as I said, she was my love at first sight. <laughs>